Is Singapore fully back, Michelle? Singapore is not fully back yet, <laughs> but of course what we're seeing from the government there is that they're committed to reopening to the rest of the world. You know, we're seeing these countries like, like Indonesia and India, which had huge COVID outbreaks, you know, which was really a concern for the world. The Delta outbreak, the Delta infection came from India, and yet Singapore is saying we're ready to get back in there, we're ready to open back up. They're doing it very slowly and very carefully. They really want to make sure that they don't see a surge of infections related to this reopening. Well, the thing is, cases are rising, Michelle. I mean, just yesterday it's 1,500, and before that it's 2,000 plus. Is that a problem? Well, the government did say very explicitly when they were announcing this increase in the in the travel reopening that they expect more cases to come. And that makes sense because we're going to be getting people in from different areas. Some of them are inevitably going to be carrying coronavirus. What the city state is saying is that they believe that their high vaccination rate will keep those outbreaks under control and that they won't see an increasing number of really severe illness and deaths and that they know that they're going to have to take some risk in reopening. They're just trying to make sure that they do it a little bit more slowly, especially when they're allowing people within the city state to get out and, you know, mingle with each other. And as they're reopening to other places, they're trying to keep it under control a little bit in, in, in the interior.